How are we doing everybody? Welcome back to Dagwood Z's Tonsorium. I'm Dagwood Z with the Shaving Cadre. Today we're going to be reviewing, well, not really reviewing, but we're going to be using a brand new soap to me. Uh, this is another one from Murphy and McNeil. It is their brand new release, Gale Lock. So this is a Creed Viking inspired scent or Viking, depending on where you are in the world, um, <clears throat> which is one of Creed's brand new releases. It was released in two, late 2017, early 2018. Um, this soap features top notes of bergamot, lemon, and pepper. Uh, middle notes or heart notes of pepper, rose, and peppermint. Sandalwood, vetiver, patchouli, and lavender round out the base. Now, smelling it, it smells, definitely get the pepper off of it. Um, I can get the citrus top notes. They brighten it up quite a bit. The rose and peppermint sit there in the background a little bit. But you definitely definitely get the earthiness um, that grounds it in the sandalwood, vetiver, and patchouli. I don't really smell the lavender too terribly much. Um, but definitely get the vetiver and patchouli. It uh, gives it kind of a smokiness. Uh, but yeah, very nicely scented soap. Um, I would put it at about a two and a half. Um, it's very, very much middle of the road as far as strength of scent. So this is in a duck, fit, duck fat and beef tallow base. Um, again, it's made by Murphy and McNeil out of uh, Flower Mound, Texas. Um, this is in a newer base, their Aeon base, uh, which is more firm than their previous bases. Their previous bases were close to a cream. Um, this is a more firm base. Um, the great thing about this soap, if you go to their website to check it out or you go to Maggard Razors, um, soap purchases, soap purchases, excuse me, sometimes I have trouble talking, um, soap purchases of this soap, um, or purchases of the soap, a uh, portion of it goes towards the Wounded Warrior Project. If you aren't familiar with the Wounded Warrior Project, um, it's, it's a charity that helps out uh, veterans who were injured uh, during their period of service and uh, just a, a really good I have a lot of friends who have been the beneficiaries of, of that organization um, and it really is worthwhile um, it's been around for quite a while and uh, I would highly recommend um, if nothing else checking out if you're not familiar with the Wounded Warrior Project go in and, and check it out I'll include the link uh, in the description below um, we're going to be using <coughs> synthetic brush today, so we're going to be using the TSC Legacy brush. This is done by Eric Sorrentino of the Shaving Cadre, uh, Smatty U is his username. Um, he's one of our hobbyists on the, on the Cadre. Uh, this has a 24 millimeter tuxedo knot. Um, it's done in tiger wood uh, with some uh, blue resin uh, inlaid there into the uh, top of the handle uh, by the socket. Um, really, really nice brush, really nice ergonomic shape. Um, of course, the soap we're going to be using is Murphy and McNeil's Gale Lock. And for the razor, we're keeping it Scandinavian and we're using the CV Helgestrand MK or Mark 31. <clears throat> this is a 5 8 razor, uh, it's muted square point. You can see there, it's definitely a muted square point. Uh, full hollow ground razor. Um, and it is made out of Swedish steel, so it is tough as nails, uh, holds a great edge, uh, and is a, it's awesome to shave with. Um, that was my first Swedish blade. Um, probably still my favorite out of all my Swedish steel. Um, we're going to be following the shave up with <coughs> the Gale Lock Aftershave Splash. This is the non-alcohol version, so they have three different aftershave treatments. Um, they have this. Um, actually, I should say they have five or six. So they have the non-alcohol splash, uh, and this comes in both mentholated and non-mentholated. I purchased the mentholated version, so the soap also comes in mentholated, non-mentholated versions. Um, I got the non-mentholated soap, the mentholated aftershave splash, non-alcoholic version. Um, and then they also have uh, a, a parfum as well as an eau de toilette. Um, the parfum does not have any alcohol in it, so it is a witch hazel base uh, along with vegetable glycerin. 
So it's a little bit thicker, goes on quite a bit heavier, um, very, very strong. Um, so it is a parfum based, uh, parfum strength, um, but you don't have the alcohol burn off. So um, yeah, as far as the aftershaves, uh, they do have alcohol based splashes in both menthol and non mentholated as well as balms. I'm not sure off the top of my head if the balms come in mentholated, non mentholated, um, which is why I said I think five. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be using for the shave today, guys. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get lathering. Hope everybody's doing well. <sighs> So uh, it's been a week out here. There we go. So previously, the uh, previous base was very, very soft. As I said, it was a cream, so you really couldn't lather out of the tub. Um, this is a much more firm base. Um, I would put it right up in the same category firmness-wise as a Sterling, um, maybe even a Declaration Grooming Icarus base. Um, brush is picking up the uh, the soap really easily, so it still lathers incredibly. I mean, it's picking up lather really quick. This is the first time lathering up this soap. You can see how much I've got gathered in the brush right there. That's quite a bit. So I've probably loaded for 100% longer than I needed to. That's okay. We put a, uh, a thin water bottle cap full of uh, water into the uh, shaving bowl. Again, don't have my, uh, my trusty spray bottle. Hopefully that'll be remedied here in the next couple months. They're not readily available out here. But it's all well and good. And I tell you what, the scent is just it's blossoming off of the soap as I lather. So uh, the lather looks to be extremely creamy. Um, we're going to put quite a bit of water in here. It's going to pop up quite a few bubbles, but we're going to try and knock those bubbles down. Start with the move. Swing and lather. Again, the whipping motion here in the bowl, it adds air. Very similar to the circular motions if you face lather, uh, that incorporates air into the lather. down my whipping motions right here Just try not to fling lather everywhere yeah I think we're gonna leave it there if I need to add more water I can add more water later so all right guys I will be right back we're gonna do our hot towel and uh, we'll be right back we're gonna do uh, one pass talk about the experience with the first pass um, speed up through the second and third passes and then wrap it up afterwards with the uh, post shave and some final thoughts so see you in a second guys We're good to go. Razor dropped, and uh, let's get into this. So we're shaving about three days worth of growth. Strength of scent might have increased to about a three, still middle of the road. I think if it were much stronger, um, some of the more um, 
powerful notes such as the pepper, um, maybe the rose, which I'm a rose fan, uh, but definitely the sandalwood, vetiver, and patchouli uh, might overpower the entire thing. But as it stands, it's a very nice combo. Um, of course, everybody's nose perceives scent differently. So if you have a particular aversion or um, towards a particular scent profile or a particular scent, um, maybe you just absolutely cannot stand sandalwood uh, or patchouli. or what have you, um, your nose might be more apt to pick out those notes just because you have a sensitivity or an aversion to it. So everybody's perception does change, or does differ on sense. And honestly the best way to really determine whether you're going to like a soap is just to to smell it yourself. Nice and shiny. You know, reviews and other people's impressions can give you a good baseline. But there's no substituting actually smelling it for yourself and if possible, lathering it up. And seeing how the scent might evolve. like a good fragrance, a good soap that is layered uh, could very well evolve through the lathering and shave process. So I want to bring up one thing, um, which I wasn't aware of, uh, it was an interesting comment uh, on my last video. Which was the econ economical or budget shave. Where I used the injector. And again, that was an E1 type. Or an E type 1, however you want to read the nomenclature. Um, which was the first version of that razor out. As Rob, which is Blade Favor, uh, pointed out that A, some of the G types, which look extremely similar to the E types, uh, did use E type parts because there were some leftover E type parts at the end of its production run. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is that had a bake light handle. Now, bake light isn't used anymore. Um, but it's a lot of the, it's found in a lot of the vintage razors. Uh, the one thing you got to be careful of with the Bakelite handles is be sure not to expose them to alcohol or alcohol-based splashes. Um, it will erode and uh, 
degrade the bake light in the handle. It will actually corrode it. Um, so please be very careful uh, with your alcohol splashes around your injectors. So uh, make sure they're put up or put away from when you go to put on your aftershave. So, all right, we're done with the first pass. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let her get the next two passes done and we'll be right back. See you in a second, guys. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, had to do a uh, second taping of the post shave since lost audio again. Not sure what's going on with that, but had a great shave with Murphy and McNeil's Gale Lock. Again, this is a take on Creed Viking, and honestly, after using it and using the aftershave splash and using the parfum. I have to say it's a fair representation of Creed Viking, not a, an exact clone, um, and they state as such on their site, uh, but I will say that this Aeon base, in my experience, is a better base than their original uh, softer base. I mean, it's still beef tallow and duck fat, uh, but whatever they did to the processing to make it a firmer soap, it definitely has increase some of the shaving properties of this soap. Uh, it's got better slickness, better residual slickness, better cushion. It's easier to lather. Well, I won't say it's easier to lather, um, but <clears throat> that's that's about the same. But it, my overall impressions were much more favorable uh, than the original soap base. Not to say the original soap base is bad, it's still an excellent soap base. Uh, this is just better. This is actually encroaching upon the elite soap bases out there. Uh, I did follow it up with the mentholated aftershave splash. This is the non-alcohol version. Um, I will say that the menthol um, is strong enough that it does somewhat overpower the scent of the aftershave splash. Uh, it does tone down after about 15-20 minutes. The uh, menthol smell goes away and you're left with the scent of the fragrance itself. Uh, it is a fair representation again of Creed Viking uh, and it does evolve. Same with the Parfum. Uh, the, again this is the non-alcohol version of the Parfum and again it does evolve. Uh, one note uh, since this doesn't have alcohol, it doesn't. It uses uh, glycerin and witch hazel as its primary bases. It does not evaporate like the alcohol-based eau de toilette or eau de parfum or eau de cologne or parfum extracts uh, do. They don't. It does not evaporate. It has no alcohol to evaporate off, so it does go on heavier. So be very cognizant of that when you apply it, because uh, it will go on heavy. It feels like it goes on heavier. Uh, so it might be a good uh, candidate for using the dotting method, just putting a little on your hand and just dotting it around 
where you need it. So <clears throat> yeah, overall had a very, very pleasant shave experience and ended up DFS. Very little feedback from the alum. And overall, I just really, really had a stellar shave. Um, I am going to shave again with this one more time. Uh, I did lather up, broke away from work, lathered up, and uh, let it sit on my face for a little bit, rinsed it off, and I will say the post-shave moisturizing, while not quite as good as Lisa's, which is the most moisturizing soap I have in my den, uh, it does encroach on the Icarus base by Declaration Grooming, Buffalo base from Holy Cow, Ariana and Evans, uh, New Italian Yogurt, and uh, Goat Milk base. So. <clears throat> It is encroaching on the elites. I want to use it a, one or two more times before I really make that determination uh, on whether this is an elite soap base. So for everybody over at Murphy and McNeil, great job on the new soap base. Really enjoyed it and really enjoyed the fact that this a portion of this goes to the Wounded Warrior Project, as I said earlier. I do have friends that have benefited from that foundation. So it is something that I do appreciate. Uh, when any donations uh, are made. Uh, one more thing. So this is on the more expensive side of the house uh, for soaps. However, that does not take away from the value because you get 5.5 ounces of soap in this container, uh, whereas most you only get four. So you're getting 30% more soap and you're not paying 30% more in price. So just take that into consideration when you're, you're looking and weighing up whether to make a purchase or not. Again, the soap does come in mentholated version as well. So if you do enjoy the chill, you do enjoy the smell of menthol, that is an option for you. We uh, paired it up with the CV Strand MK or Mark 31, uh, good old Swedish steel, so we kept it uh, Scandinavian. And then for the brush, we did use a 24 millimeter synthetic. This is the Shaving Cadre Legacy brush done by Eric Sorrentino of the Shaving Cadre. Uh, Smatiu, he's one of our hobbyists over there. Did an awesome job of not very ergonomic shape in the brush. And uh, beautiful, some beautiful wood grain there. So, <clears throat> all in all guys, check them out, www.murphyandmcneil.com. If you haven't checked out the Shaving Cadre, stop them by www.theshavingcadre.com. We'd love to have you there. It's a great group of people who are dedicated to good grooming and bringing back some of the old traditions and just teaching you to take time and enjoy the process. All right? Take your time, slow down, enjoy the process. Uh, and on top of everything else, the biggest thing I can say for the Shaving Cadre, it is just an awesome, welcoming, and friendly community. So we'd love to add you to our ranks. So stop them by www.theshavingcadre.com. Until next time, guys, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, stay cool if you're in the southern hemisphere stay warm and I want to see you in the next video guys until then stay safe take care peace